and we get you a product that's going to be better for your family, and we can find somewhere in the budget that's going to help you pay for this. Like I can come back in October and talk about your drug plan and maybe save you a few co-payments on your drugs. I've taken a lady to a uh, bank and opened up a bank account because in the south side of Chicago, she was going to the currency exchange every month. I did the math with her. She got a check for $900 a month. 900 bucks. She was getting charged 3% to cash that check at the currency exchange. 30 bucks. I said, okay, did you pay any other bills with money orders? Yeah, I paid four or five bills with money orders. They charged her a buck 75 for a money order. When it's all said and done, I saved her like $56 a month just by driving her to the grocery store to open a TCF bank account. She opened it, the savings on those costs, deposited her check in the currency exchange, or from the currency exchange to the bank, saved her 56 bucks. What did that pay for? Free life insurance. But some agents say, oh man, no bank account. Click, or that they from Josh, right? I don't want to waste your time, you don't want to waste my time. Why wouldn't you go knock on that door in the middle of the day and say, Mr. Mr. or Mrs. Smith, I know you told me on the phone you didn't have a bank account, but do you understand if you got a bank account or what this could do to your family? You're in the neighborhood. You have a lead card. If you do one of those a month, you get them open a bank account, that's 12 sales a year. What's 12 sales a year times 720? That's about 10 grand in premium. And 100% or a 50% contract, who wants to make an extra five grand a year by knocking on one door a month? I know everybody here should raise your hand. <laughs> Otherwise you're in the wrong business. <laughs> or the wrong room. <laughs> but it's, it's helping people. Helping people get what they want in turn will help you get what you want. Every time. Okay? Ancillary programs. So from here, we already, we already got the process. Josh told you about setting appointments, right? Putting the hours of setting appointments or knock on the doors, okay? Jim told you about the same things I told you about, the process, building trust, answering questions and concerns, customer service, those things all matter. You get the sale, hopefully 60, 70 bucks a month. Now they're client. now what do we do? Well, touches, warm touches. So we have ancillary programs. You identify opportunities. If they're over 65, they're on Medicare or Medicaid. Medicare or Medicaid, or both, okay? If they're on a retirement plan or still working, they have what? Co-payments and deductibles. Family members that need coverage. Just because you sold the mom and the kids weren't there, you can always go back and write policies on the kids to make sure. So when people say they don't have leads, contact your clients and ask, has your family been protected? Because you're the one that's talking to them in the house, right? Okay? So you want to cross-sell. We're going to use the One Life menu I'm going to talk about here next, and we'll go back to this, okay? This is what we use. Rick Abershaw, who's my upline, who I've been with for 10 years, he came up with this. This generates everything that you need to do, because some, some agents, when they learn final expense, and like I said, we're going to perfect that. Like I said, we're going to be portfolio-minded to learn these other products, because you're leaving money in the house, because somebody like myself is coming behind your sale, to sell them these products. So people say, well, Scott, I, they didn't send a lead in for Medicare. How do, I, how do I get over that home? How do I generate the need? So I use this right here. I say, okay, you told me, Mr. Uh, Prospect, you have a hospital of medical expenses paid by Humana, correct? But you have co-payments. Do you have anything to cover your co-payments? No? Okay, well, I take a magic marker and I'll shade out half of that first circle. And by the way, these are the four areas, according to AARP in 2015, that can create financial disaster for seniors on fixed incomes. I say cancer insurance. Do you know what your co-payment is with Humana, Mrs. Smith? Or Mrs. Prospect? 20% for radiation and chemotherapy. What do you have to cover that? Nothing. All right, we'll leave that one open. Home health care. If you don't have the right type, you're gonna be in a state facility. Most folks wanna stay in their home with some private care. Private care costs money. Do you have any home health care or long-term care insurance? No. Now you took out a $10,000 final expense policy. I told you the national average is eight to 12,000. If you live 15 more years, they're projecting a funeral cost over $17,000. So we'll, we'll save three-fourths of that in. And then obviously your asset preservation, if you have any money sitting somewhere getting less than 3%, we can actually get you some better benefits on that as well as far as bigger returns. Now, 
of these areas that we just talked about, which one concerns you the most? Shut up. They'll tell you that cancer, one in every two men, one in every three women, will be diagnosed with cancer in their lifetime. Then you go into a cancer presentation. Um, home, our uh, hospital indemnity coverage, the, the medical expenses at the hospital. Well, we have a plan for that. We do fixed annuities, we do home health care. So knowing the other products, not just selling the other products, but knowing them is going to make you a more trusted advisor to talk about other insurance policies. Okay? Now, cross-selling Medicare supplement with a life insurance. I'm going to talk about it. I don't know if he's in here. I'm not going to call him out, but we were talking last night. The process can, you can live and die by the process. If you don't have a process on every appointment, you will miss out on money or opportunities by not doing the same thing in every house. And don't get me wrong, the first time you do it, you will fail. I learned everything I've done in this business by writing an application and it usually screws it up the first time. But guess what, you lose commission and you'll never do it again. I can promise you that. But it's a process, right? Learning the process. So we were talking last night, he said, Scott, I almost did one of your sales. I said, okay, what, what, do, you, what do you mean? He goes, well, I, I was on a life insurance sale and I had a med sub and I saved the lady a hundred bucks, but she didn't want the life insurance. I said, well, let's back up here. You lost some money. She was more worried about the savings. I said, okay, let's back up here. We're at the one life menu, right? We're explaining all the different types of products. And I said, if you explained it this way, she wouldn't have had an option. We do all these different products. You sent the card in for one of three reasons. She would have said what? Not enough. She had a ten thousand dollar life insurance policy. Well, I sent the card in because I didn't think I had enough life insurance. At that point, I would tell the client, "You're doing the fact finding," and I give some other free things in the beginning, like a prescription discount card to see if they take a lot of medication. Knowing that I probably think that she qualifies, Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Prospect. What if I showed you a way? that I could save money on your Medicare something that gave you free life insurance. She would say, I'm probably crazy. Let me show you how. And then I explain how I can get her a lower benefit on the med sub that's included with the life insurance. And when you write it on a tri close bed, you don't break it out. I'm glad this is here. I'm glad this is here. But I would do a plan F with a $10,000 life insurance she might have been paying 202 a month, well it's 191. How's that sound? She saves eleven dollars a month. But if you say, oh my gosh, we can go from 202 to 101, that's 101 dollars a month in savings, then we can take out a 93 dollar life insurance policy, it's saving eight bucks. She's gonna say, oh I don't need that, let's just do that. What looks better? You, you just told me you needed more life insurance. I didn't tell you that you needed it. You told me you wanted more life insurance. Now you're saying you don't need it? So what happens in 15 years when your burial costs 17000 and poor Johnny gets stuck with an $8,000 bill? <coughs> Johnny loves you, but he's going to say some curse words before he goes to the savings account and pulls out eight grand, And then he's going to agree with you. Right? Again, what I said, nobody in this world has ever died with too much life insurance. Don't prejudge. Customer service. Sell second. Right? Now, you're going to learn this from Brandon, but I still want to explain it to you. Medicare people have two options. I know this is a final expense training, but selling other products is going to make you more money. Medicare covers people at 80%. That's the red, white, and blue card. That's an 80% coverage. They have two options from that point. They can take out a prescription plan, which is your drug coverage and then take out a standardized Medicare supplement policy that runs about $150 to $200 a month. Okay? The other option is what's called the Medicare Advantage Plan. Who's heard about a Medicare Advantage Plan here? Who has no idea what it even looks like? That's better. That's good. Um, it's an all-inclusive plan that takes your A, your B, and your D that goes into all in one plan that's private that's covered by a Humana or a Blue Cross or United Healthcare that covers them in 100% that Medicare approves that they have co-payments and deductibles. One is pay as you go, Medicare Advantage. One is pay up front, Medicare Supplement. We on the same page? So, 
If it's a life insurance and you find out it's a Medicare supplement plan, use the process, explain how to save them money, they can give them free life insurance out of their monthly income. It's a no-brainer. Husband and wife last week in Naperville, uh, Country Financial. They have their RV, their house, their everything with them. Um, West suburb of Chicago. They were paying 502 or 503 a month for two plan Fs. Yep. Sent a card in for ten thousand dollars of life insurance. Sat down with Mr. Bernard. He said, Scott, I don't want to talk about. I don't want to talk about health insurance. I got health insurance. I said, okay, well, let me tell you what I do first, why I'm explaining this. Remember, I'm trying to get you the best available coverage at the lowest cost. That's what I told you when I sat down with you, right? He said, I looked at life insurance. It's just too expensive. It was a B lead, by the way. Somebody's already pulled this lead. It's a B lead. It's recycled. So I said, okay, let me just explain something to you. What if I could save you money on your Medicare supplement that gave you and your wife free life insurance? I knocked on your door and told you that. What would you have done? You'd probably kick me off the porch and tell me I'm crazy, but there's a way to do it. All I did was sit down with them and explain. They don't go to the doctor. Janice doesn't take any medication. Bernard had a heart attack four years ago. He goes to a cardiologist once every six months. No, two medications he on, that's it. I said, okay, well, you guys, plan F is going to be going away. In 2020, the HR2 bill in Congress, you can look it up, put it on your phone, it says people on Medicare January uh, 1st of 2020 cannot take a plan that covers their Part B deductible, meaning plan F you can keep, but you can no longer purchase. So in the insurance world, if no new money's coming into a pool, what happens to the premiums? It can only get sick, right? So as the money goes up, you're going to be either stuck because you can't change, or I can fix it now. All in all, I wrote a two Americo uh, plan ends for $264 and two $10,000 life insurance policies for $213. Now they're paying $470 a month. They have supplemental coverage and no cost life insurance, but I save them $30 bucks a month. And I'm going to see them when they get back from their RV trip in November to save them on their drugs because they're on a Janice is on a plan, takes no medication. She's on the Blue Cross Blue Shield preferred plan for $65 a month. I said, you need to talk to an angel. Well, yeah, my guy at Country Financial, he's more property capital than you think. <laughs> <laughs> that was a band-aid on a gaping wound that I said, I'll take care of. So I'll save another 50 bucks come November. So they're going to save 70 bucks a month and get free life insurance. Pretty good deal. Not because the opportunity wasn't there, just because I knew more about the products. That's it. Knowledge is power. Standardized plans, they're all standardized. Like I said, brief synopsis. Medicare supplement plans, this plan F that covers everything, that's the Cadillac. They're all the same. No matter what company you sell, they're all going to give you the same benefits. So when somebody says, I have Blue Cross Blue Shield, I have Humana, I have whatever, it's better. No, it's not. You're paying for a name. They're all the same. They're all standardized in 1992. You can't get something out of these companies that's not with another company. If it's a Medicare settlement plan, it's protected by law. So, same story I just gave you. This was the uh, set an appointment for a final expense lead using the information, paying 150 to 200 dollars a month. You go on the appointment, see if they qualify. We may be able to get you the same benefits with burial at no extra cost per month. That's how you present it to the client. Who in this world would send a card in, they fill it out, there's an emotion, they read the card. I need life insurance. They fill it out, they in their robe, they take it to the mailbox, they put it in. You call them, you set an appointment, find out they have a meds up, then you tell them you can give you free life insurance. Who in the world, if you present it that way, is going to say, I don't need life insurance? Did we just go through a process that you filled out a car, mailed it in, told me you needed it, you didn't have enough, and now you're telling me you don't need it? Well, to be honest with you, the only insurance in the world that we know we're going to use is what? Whole life insurance. Term you can outlive. Car insurance, Mrs. Smith. You can drive a car, right? The government tells you you can drive a car, you have to have it, right? What if you don't get the car accident? You get your money back? Nope. 
if you own a home, have a mortgage, they tell you you have to have homeowner insurance, right? If your house doesn't burn down, you get your money back? Nope. The federal government now today tells you you have to have health insurance. If you don't, you're penalized. If you don't get sick, you get your money back? So the only insurance in the world, Mrs. Smith, that we know we're going to use, nobody besides myself is telling you that you have to have it. I'll tell you what, I'll, I mean, if I could get rid of my health or my life insurance, or my uh, homeowner insurance or car insurance, because I know I'm going to die. I need to have it. So that's the way you tee it up. And if you can save somebody money to allocate towards no-cost life insurance, that's the way to do it. I use the prescription card. We all, everybody see those free prescription cards? Somebody say, oh, they're, they're a waste of money. It's not designed for the benefit. It's designed to get information out of a client. This gives you up to 75% off of your medications when you pay full, full price at a pharmacy. There's over 4,400 drugs that Medicare, Medicaid, or insurance companies do not cover. If you ever take one, see the or show the card, it can help save you some money. Mrs. Smith, do you take a lot of medications? No. Yes. Oh, you do? What do you take? They'll tell you, they'll get you a list. So before I even go into a presentation, I already know how to underwrite the client. Where to go? Ooh, I see gabapentin. Mm, well, do you take diabetic medication? Yes, okay, now I know where I'm going. I mean, you know exactly where you're going by doing this. Getting permission to contact. Almost at every appointment, and Brandon will tell you this, I get a CTC, a consent to contact form for Medicare Advantage plans and a scope of appointment. It's permission to contact the client after the fact. They came out with a new rule this year. Who's heard about the 48-hour rule with Medicare Advantage? Got to go back 48 hours to, before a scope and get all that done. Well, you know that rule's gone, right? You can take that scope right before the appointment. If you don't sell a life insurance at that appointment, and they say, I want to know about this Medicare Advantage, sign this scope. I can talk about it today. Now, if you sell them, go back 48 hours just to cover your butt. Carriers probably still don't like that, but you don't want to confuse the client. But if you don't sell life insurance, you can get a scope signed that day. If they ask you about it, you can try to talk about uh, Medicare Advantage right there on the spot. But get those form spots filled out on every appointment. You don't know when you're going to contact them again, and you, it creates a lead. More people to see equals what? More money. Medicare Advantage. Again, you're setting an appointment on a Medicare Advantage link. You use the uh, menu to find out what type of plan they have. You write it down. You, you log it. Taking notes and things like that as far as the prescriptions they take, the doctor, the current plan and premium, creates an opportunity to contact them in AEP to go see those people. I have 57 people that I've sold this year that I have to see October 15th to December 7th. I get all 57 of them, I'll collect a check in January, and then right around $11,000 for doing, pretty much servicing my client. You get paid to take care of your client. It's a pretty good deal, right? This can create a six-figure income within three, four years. Because Medicare changed, Medicare Advantage changed a few years back to where they used to pay Medicare Advantage renewals for 10 years. Guess how long they pay for them now? For life. As long as they live and they're on the books, you collect that renewal to the day they die. I'm not afraid to say it. People ask me all the time. I make six figures in Medicare renewals every month. I don't have to work next year. I'm only 34. I told my wife I'm going to retire when I'm 55, not when I'm 34. So until I'm 55, I'm going to do as much business as I can, helping other folks get what they want, and in turn, I'll get what I want, which is retirement at 55. Pretty good age to retire, right? Now, my definition of retirement is like playing golf, or I'll be a golf ranger or a starter. I'm not going to completely retire, but I'm going to do more fun things with my kids and children and grandkids. After I get that six-figure income growing, I want it to be a million dollars by 55 a month. It's obtainable. I can do it. You can do it. Prescription drug plan. These aren't big money makers. I use this as customer service, taking care of the client. If I can go help people save 20 $30 a month, it's going to keep all my business what? On the books. On the books. So you use that every October. Contact your client. Hey, any of your medications changed? Anything we can do to help you? Well, yes, yeah, Scott, you can come out and review my benefits. Be more than happy to. You go back out, use a prescription plan, you collect 50 or 75 bucks and roll them into a new prescription plan. You ask for referrals or try to sell anybody else in the house. Stay in front of your clients. It's not one and done. One sale in the house is just a sale. 
two or three products in the house is what? A client. My guy is Scott. Talk to Scott. That's, that's the way you have to set it up because it cements the client. Brandon asked me today, Clay, he said, how much of your business do you have more than one product in the house? I said, 30% of my business, I have three products in the house. You think those clients are going anywhere? No. They're, they're there for life. Uh, ancillary products, we're going to talk about this here in a minute. Hospital indemnity, cancer, and home health care. Hospital indemnity and cancer insurance are the two easiest things to sell. Believe it or not. Everybody knows somebody has been affected by what? Cancer. You can walk into a house and say, you know anybody that's been diagnosed with cancer in the last five years? They might tell you three or four people. Okay. Medicare cross-sell, we already went over this, I'm not gonna beat a dead horse. The Smiths sent them a card in 2013 for final expense. I sold them a Cigna plan out in the mutual. Over the past three years, it raised to 286 and 283. I rewrote them. Cigna went to America and America Eagle. They sit, paid the same amount of money. Otis, Mutual of Omaha and America Plan G with an America Eagle. Pays about, looks about $60 cheaper than what he's paying now. Saved in the clients an additional $110 per month, not to mention co-pays through the mail order. So when it's all said and done, they got what? Free life insurance. Not costing them an extra penny. Medicare Advantage cross sell. We're going to talk about this: the CTC and the scope of appointment. Those forms allow you to get extra benefits out of the client's home. Get the forms signed, log it. I use the poor man CRM, which is Excel. <laughs> right? You don't need to buy a CRM. You can use Excel. Log it, know it, have it set up. October fifteenth. Contact those clients. Go see them and you can write another plan. If you don't know this kind of glory, this is the Humana plan in Chicago, DuPage County. This is what these plans look like. So a monthly plan premium is zero dollars. Yes, it's zero dollars per month for the client. They still gotta pay their Part B premium. However, the max out of pocket is 3,400. Dr. Copay is zero, special is 35. The reason I put this on here is because some folks don't even know what a Medicare Advantage plan is. So HMO, Health Maintenance Organization, Inpatient care, 225 a day for seven days. The reason I mentioned that, Mrs. Smith, is because if you're in the hospital for seven days, how much do you owe? $1,575. Can you afford that? Probably not. What if I showed you a plan for pennies on the dollar that would take care of that? What would that sound like? Great, right? MAPD sales outside our uh, enrollment period. You have LIS, employer plans, chronic needs, dual medical, or dual eligible and Medicaid. Like I said, I'm not going to get too far into this. They want me to talk about the other products just so you have an idea with them. We want you to master final expense, put the blinders on, and then eventually your next academy, sign up for one of the other programs, Medicare, to learn more about this because more tools under your belt is going to make you more money and be more successful here. Okay? This is what a hospital indemnity plan looks like that pairs with the Medicare Advantage like Humana. It pays a cash benefit up to $500 a day in the hospital for 10 days This is a silver plan. Durable medical equipment, oxygen tanks, walkers, wheelchairs, hospital beds, all the stuff we see in clients' homes. Usually they pay 20% unless they have Medicaid. It pays a $200 benefit for a lifetime maximum of $2,500. Ambulance, $100. Usually the copay is $150 to $300 copay on an ambulance charge. ER 150, physician visits $25 after a hospital stay, and the op optional lump sum cancer benefit. I'll tell you very briefly, when I first got in the business, I sold my mom one of these plans because she runs a, she's a hairdresser that ran her own business. I said, mom, well, you know, if you ever, I'm not, I didn't really believe it at the time, I just wanted to make some commission, so I, you sell people around you. <laughs> So I said, what happens if you get sick and you can't work for a week? You don't make any money. I said, how about this plan right here, Equitable, which is a sister company in Heartland. I said, why don't we get you a plan that pays you two fifty dollars a day in the hospital, and we'll throw a $10,000 cancer benefit on there because two of my aunts passed away due to breast cancer. She said, okay, that sounds good. Last year, my uh, stepdad, he is uh, retired with the railroad, just got on Medicare. My mom's 62, I call that no man's land, so she's on Obamacare paying about $4 a month for a $6,000 deductible, something crazy. So I said, well, if something happens, so 
something did happen. She was diagnosed with early stages of breast cancer. Radiation, chemo, cost her six grand on the deductible. Lump sum benefit of 10 grand. She's fine now, by the way. She's great. But um, she got 10 grand a week later and it's enough. So first hand knowledge, I've seen it work. Otherwise, she, radiation would have cost her six grand. Now she can pay it, but who wants to pay for something they don't have to? Have somebody else pay it. T-chart, this is what you do in the house. I do a real life scenario, this is the easiest thing. You can't sell them life insurance, they got enough. They got a Medicare Advantage plan. You can pivot on the spot to the easiest project with the same type of underwriting. They can get a $200, $300 commission right out of the house that same day without walking out with nothing. You're already there. I mean, this is the easiest product to sell. So Mrs. Smith, let's just say, I use this as an example. Let's say you're walking down your driveway to pick up your newspaper and it's middle of January in Chicago and you slip and fall on the ice. Crack your head. Can't move. Who are you going to call? Not Ghostbusters. <laughs> you're going to call. You're going to call an ambulance, right? We just talked about that. Your copay is what? $200? Okay. Where are they going to take you? Where is your copay on your card says 75 I, I know they waive it. I don't get too much into it, but they charge you 75 bucks. Let's say they come in the room and they say, whew, 